Nintendo is developing a Zelda movie. And of course, this could be an amazing thing, and this could not be an amazing thing. The operative word here is Nintendo. I really hope that Nintendo has a lot of control over this movie. Uh, at the executive and at the producer level, that's going to make a big difference. The director is Wes Ball. He worked on the Maze Runner movies. And the writer is Derek Connolly. Derek Connolly has worked on, he wrote, wrote the Jurassic World movies. Not off to the best start there. And let's see, he also wrote De Detective Pikachu, I think. Yes, he wrote Detective Pikachu. I didn't like that one as much as the Mario movie. The Pikachu movie was half animation, half live action. And of course, the Mario movie, completely animated. Now, I love the Mario movie, and I'm like, eh. The best part of that movie, of course, was Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. That was the best part as far as the writing. Eh. So, I, I'm kind of a mixed opinion right now. The bigger thing is this, though. A, I think if Nintendo has creative control, producing it, executive producing it, making sure that Derek Connolly writes a script that respects all of Zelda, and even if they take just one story, whether it's A Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time or one of the more modern tales of the Zelda games, as long as he takes that and respects it completely, the history, the timeline, the lore of the Legend of Zelda series, it could be phenomenal. Of course it could. Now, here's my biggest thing that I've given a lot of thought to, is that Lord of the Rings. Why do I bring up Peter Jackson's trilogy, completely shot in New Zealand, because of this? The Zelda movie, I believe, needs to be live action, through and through, on location. You got to go to a mountaintop, you go to a mountaintop. You need some kind of fields and plains, or you need Hyrule Field. You can CGI the castle, but make sure that field's real. You're down by a river, make sure you're by a river, okay? No animated stuff. I mean, of course, I know everything's a mixture these days. We have to use background plates, and we have to animate certain things, and we add background elements, and we might change the sky or do secondary color correction. We might do all these things in post-production. That's fine to add elements but it needs to be live action as much in camera as possible. This needs to feel real. We need to be truly taken out of the game and brought into, quote, the real world. Actual in camera, shot through a lens, action and scenery and people. I think that's going to make all the difference in the world. And in fact, that can make up for 20% of a script's not being very good. Is, is that the in-camera action in the scenery works. There's plenty of locations around the world. A bunch here, here in the States. Uh, also New Zealand, Australia. There's a bunch of places where you can get phenomenal locations that look a lot like Hyrule. Like the Kingdom of Hyrule. I don't see why not. So that's my biggest thing. I want the Zelda movie. And if I were working on it, 100%. If I were directing the Zelda movie, I would put my, my fist down. No, instead of not paying all these guys to animate, paying and shoot stuff on green screen, and to shoot, you know, no. I would say, no, we're going, we're going there. We're going to set up, and we're going to do it the hard way because it's going to pay off huge dividends to shoot this in camera through the lens. That's what I want for the Zelda movie. I think it could make a huge difference. And man, I hope it's good. We're talking one point whatever billion dollars. If you do this well, the Mario movie made that much. Is This has the potential for that as well. And here's why. This will harken back to the love and success of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. People could be reminded of that. Could re be reminded of the journey and the characters and the battles and the love, and the loss, and the bravery, and the heroes, and all of that could be encapsulated, all of that which makes Tolkien's work then envisioned by Peter Jackson on screen so brilliant, the greatest trilogy ever made, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Imagine if we got 80% of that in the Zelda movie. Imagine what a journey and what adventure we could go on. Oh, I wish I was working on this movie. So Nintendo, if you need anybody, I'm right here.
I'm right here. I'll give you my contact info. And more Echoes of Wisdom is coming. I'm glad I talked to Sean tonight, though. He's way ahead of me. He's on or has beaten the second temple, gotten to what he calls the open world part of Echoes of Wisdom. He got me excited again. I haven't yet been able to make the second installment. And here's the thing, guys. With regard to Echoes of Wisdom, I know that there's a lot of content already there. Full game walkthroughs. What's with that? And it makes my little effort of doing section one of Echoes of Wisdom look like, who cares? But for the almost 200 of you that have watched it, thank you. And I'm going to make it more episodes. And here's the thing. I'd love for you guys to still join me as I play through Echoes of Wisdom. And here's why. It's about you and I hanging out together. And if you, you enjoy the company that we share, then I hope that's an added value to you. Because, yeah, you can go watch it right now. Man, I, am I just shooting myself in the foot? <laughs> hey, go watch something else. No, I'm not saying that. But, yeah, this episode two is coming. I shouldn't have said all that, should I? Yeah, it must be a Tuesday. Loud boy shooting off his mouth again, right? Leave me a comment below. Like it if you like it. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Loud Boy. This is the Loud Boy Experience. Episode 5, or Roman numeral V. Live long and prosper. Thank you for being here, guys. I hope you have a good night. Yeah.